Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash Show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. And I've got Ari, Ari and Andy in the studio. You know, they want to know, would you walk a thin line hundreds of feet above the ground? Find out what it takes on their new Discovery Plus series. Andy and Ari, once again, welcome. And thank you for letting us talk, uh, learn more about pushing the line. Yeah, thanks That's for cool. having us. Well, you guys are elite athletes. You, I'm sure you find this challenging. I'm going to ask, uh, I'll start with you, Ari, just on it. Um, what kind of mentality is required? Well, first, let's back up. What is highlining? Yeah, highlining is a type of slacklining. Usually slacklining, you see hippies in the park balancing on a rope between two trees. And we kind of take that and extrapolate it out a few orders of magnitude over cliffs, really high, really long. And we basically balance on a one inch wide piece of rope. It's almost like a tight wire. And yeah, we balance on it in the sky and it's awesome. Okay, Andy, are there people that are innately good at this or, or you train for this? How do you, how do you become a highliner? I would say that life is kind of time extrapolated over a number of years and how you efficiently and effectively use your time to train balance will help you kind of be a better highliner overall. So we find that like surfers and gymnasts and people like that tend to relatively get into slacklining easier and then to highlining after that. And so it, it does take physical fitness, but it also takes more mental fitness. So it actually teaches you to believe in yourself through what we call the slack life or the metaphor behind slack lining, which is you have a goal at the end of your line, you fall off, you need to get back on and try again, one step at a time, these kind of things where teaching someone to slack line actually does sound like teaching someone to do anything. Ari, Andy touched upon it a little bit, but what kind of mental agility is required to be a highliner? I think the the most important mental quality is really almost, I would almost say it's surrender, really. Like there's just so many things that come up. Sometimes you get anxious. Sometimes you get afraid. Sometimes you get proud. Sometimes you rush. All these things are just like kind of in the cycle of emotion and you just kind of have to let the wheel spin, really. If you try to grip it too hard and white knuckle it, you just find out that the steering wheel isn't actually connected to the wheels anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got to take a post off of Facebook and they want to know, uh, Andy, do you meditate or anything to, to, before you start what you're doing on highlining? Oh, 100%. Actually, a lot of the times before you get on a line, you've been thinking about it and manifesting it from your heart for sometimes years, where the first time you step on a line, you're like, I've thought about this moment for the last 10 years. And so there's just all sorts of different things that you can do to pump yourself up on the line. But when you get out there, it's really about letting go. It's about, like Ari said, that surrender where you're at the peak of your challenge level and the peak of your skill level and the difference between you failing and succeeding is having fun. And if you can just smile and have fun and release the expectations of yourself for the contest that you're in, then that's how you actually succeed the most. Okay. This one's for Ari. Ari, you want to know it because you're a highliner, is that your real name? Cause it's too perfect. That's what they said. I didn't say it. And they want to know for 30 days, Cameron captures some of the top heavy hitters in the sports. What will they see on Discovery Plus Highliners? Huh? Yeah. I don't know. My, my, my name was just perfect. I don't know. <laughs> I just came out. I came out like this. I'm on my path. I think I'm just on my path. Um, as far as what you're going to see watching the heavy hitters of highlining, 
Um, you're going to see more shenanigans than I'd like to admit uh, because heavy hitters of Highline <laughs> were really just a bunch <laughs> of friends. And this TV show captured a lot of the behind the scenes shenanigans of our lives. So I think you have to look forward to our amazing feats of athleticism and rigging, as well as the drama of our lives and our having a great time with each other. So. All right, then. Andy, it's on Discovery Plus. When do you want us to watch? I mean, right now, it's streaming live. You guys can go download the Discovery Plus app right now, and you can click Pushing the Line, and you guys can watch us battle ourselves, battle the elements, battle fear, and also enjoy the heck out of life. So if you guys want to watch something new, you want to watch something fun, you want to bring yourselves into our worlds, Pushing the Line on Discovery Plus, highly recommend it. Gary and Andy, thank you so very much for introducing some people to this and taking the rest of us along on this journey. I'll be there. I'll be front and center. Thanks for being on the Valder BB show. Bye, Valder BB. Bye, Valder. See you soon. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.